Hello viewers, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending wherever you are watching me from. Today I'm going to expose um, some of the secrets about the chargeback system and about the mathematical calculation about the charging process. Now there's a particular video which you all know that has been viral on the internet and so many people have watched this video and they have followed the, they have followed the steps of this video in order for them to charge back their flawless generator. Now today I'm here to give you a mathematical calculation why this type of chargeback system will not work many of you know the video which i'm about to post now so please watch it and you will see how the chargeback system is being done well, after watching this video i'm going to explain to you why this type of chargeback system will not work before i dive into the video i want you to please subscribe to this channel and press the bell notification button so you can be seeing all my videos which i post from time to time so here comes the video watch the video analyze the video and after the end of this video i'm going to show you why this system will not work and the mathematical calculation of it. Do subscribe to this channel and press the bell notification. Thank you. Let's go into the video. Now you have connected your load. This is your load. The other one goes directly to the capacitor. The other two yellow output goes to the capacitor. Why the two green output table goes to the diode. Don't forget that the diode will recharge through the diode, you recharge your battery back. Now, charging system, positive to positive. Negative to negative. Now, we are connecting negative terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the DC motor. Don't forget, always connect all your positive first. Don't connect negative so that you won't have direct load input at the same time. Now we are connecting and there must be means of starting and stopping. Either a switch or an isolator. Isolator may be small switch gear. It may be main switch on and off. It may be just ordinary switch so that you can just connect your positive terminal to the switch or the isolator before you run it directly to the DC motor. So that you can easily go there, put it on. Easily go there, put it off. That means of isolation, we cater for that area. Now connect. Yes, I'm not good now. Now, this lighting point serves as this of load. This extension box, you can connect your television, you can connect your fan, you can connect whatever. You can even run this one directly to your changeover switch. Or oh, I better pass my neighbor, generator, NEPA, NEPA generator. Now, instead of putting generator that is using petrol, you can put Fuelless generator there. Then put NEPA. Just remove your plug and plug your, uh, your fuelless generator there. There will be output. There must be means of charging. There must be means of recharging the battery back. If you don't charge back the battery, if you don't charge back the battery, the battery, the energy of the battery will go down quickly. Within five minutes, you will consume the energy on the battery. Now, means of charging is through this down. You can easily test if your alternator is charging the battery back. Through this means, you can see that the thing is, is sparking. That means there is a return of energy back to the battery there. The television serves as a load. So that television derives its energy or its means of supply through this wireless generator. Via this extension box, then down to the generator. That is, that is the, 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 the main principle of this wireless generator. You can connect this sample directly to your Hello. Now, the video you just watched now, it has the charging back system, but why that charging back system will not work, I'm going to explain. 
Now there is a DC motor. That DC motor you see is 12 volts. And that DC motor is one horsepower. If you take a mathematical calculation, one horsepower is equivalent to 750 watts. Now, for you to get the amps of the DC motor and the amps that the DC motor is drawing from the battery, before to calculate amps, it is watts divided by volts. That is the watt divided by volt. Now, the watt of the DC motor is 750 watts. 750 watts. Why the volt of the DC motor is 12 volts, which is equal to, if you divide it, it will be equal to 62, which will give us our amps. You understand? Which will give us our 62 amps. Now, 62 amps, we already know that the DC motor consumes 62 amps from the battery. That is, con consumes 62 amps from the battery. Now, the battery which you see, a 100 amps battery. Now, a 100 amps battery, if you load this DC motor, which is 62 amp, amp on, the, on the 100 amps battery, if you want to calculate how many hours a battery will last, you divide it by the amps. Because a 100 amp, if you have an 100 amp load and you load it on an 100 amp, um, uh, a 100 amp supply it can only last for one hour so now 100 amps of the battery divided by 62 it will give us 1.6 1.6 so without any charging and without anything you can run your dc motor on that battery for one hour 30 minutes approximately approximately one hour 30 minutes without any charging back now Let's go to the charging system he's using. The charging bag system he uses there is an 8 amps charging system. Now, without you putting a load on the battery, the 8 amps charger will be able to charge a 100 amps battery for 12 hours, 30 minutes. Now, in this whole mathematics, the charging rate is slower while the consumption rate is faster. So on this process, it will not work. It will not work given that you are charging it and your consumption rate from the DC motor is very high. So the charging bar system can never work. It can only run for about next two hours or so. If at all you hook it properly, it can only work for that, for that amount of time. But it can't last you because the, your charging system is not powerful enough to overcome what is being good what what is being consumed on the battery so most people who has followed this method on the on the charge mark system i'm just here to say the charge back system will not work and please don't try it that way because it will not work because the video which just worked now he just only did it but the charging system will not work it can only work for a few amount of time you might take it's charging but it's not charging because the arm of the dc motor is higher than what the charging system is bringing back so in this whole month what you are trying to achieve here is that what will be consumed from the dc motor will be lower than what will be coming back <coughs> to charge the dc motor so thank you all for watching in my next video i'm going to post um how some of these things are going to work and how to hook up your system so please do subscribe to this channel and press the bell notification so you can see all my videos which i do from time to time i love you that's why i'm doing what i'm doing so please don't try this method and make sure you do subscribe to this channel thank you so much thank you